Hi, welcome back to Bangers and Mash. It's movies. This week we're taking a look at the 2017 eight film. <laughs> I had to say eight film. Uh, War for the Planet of the Apes. All right, so we're looking at a sequel to Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of Planet of the Apes. Oh, the Planet of the Apes, basically. This, this is the third installment. It's of the rebooted series. Director is Matt Reeves. We got stars. Andy Serkis. Serkis. I don't really know who that is. Woody no. Harrelson and Steven Zahn. I don't know who that is either. Yeah. I didn't really do my research. Well, there's only, it's like, you only pretty much recognize Woody. Woody. Who is child? I don't know. Alright, so basically uh, the movie starts with Caesar and uh, I guess his tribe of apes. They're being attacked by like a rogue military group known as Alpha Omega. Uh, it's led by Colonel Alpha Omega. <laughs> real, real original. Uh, played by Woody. She was you. She has no one else. During the attack on the apes, uh, a group of military soldiers and enemy guerrillas are kidnapped, but Caesar is, like, as an act of peace, he gives the humans, like, the, the humans... He lets them go free. Yeah, the humans yeah. that are still alive, he lets them go free. Yeah, because he doesn't want to kill them or whatever. He's trying to make, like, a peace off. Yeah, another thing, too, is, like, like they got fucking guerrillas working with them that are, like, they call donkeys, and they're basically just, like... I don't know if it was just the one. The, only the one was named Donkey. The rest. No, were no, they oh, called the rest, a bunch okay, Donkey. Okay. Yeah, and it was uh, it was a uh, Koba or whatever. Yeah, from the second. I believe. Like, whatever. I think it's Koba or something like that. From the first one, it's like. Oh, that is the. First. It's or second one. Sorry, the the like enemy from the second one. His faction. It's like those dudes, like went and worked with Alpha Omega as opposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Bad human kill. Ape. All, all dead now. A long time. Long time. Bad humans. Soldier. So Caesar's son, uh, he returns from basically like an epic long journey and like he's reporting about like, I don't know, I guess some deserted land, a safe haven for all these apes if they go there. Uh, the same night that he discusses this, they're attacked by Alpha Omega again, only this time like more yeah it was kind of like tactical special ops yeah more yeah not just not just straight up full on attack years from now your children will ask you what did you do in the greatest war yeah so caesar ends up losing his wife and son and uh he's well his one son his older son and uh he's also betrayed by a loyal friend uh winter yeah he was all frightened so he just like backstabs him, I guess. Yeah, so Caesar goes on this journey to find the Alpha Omega guy, the Woody Harrelson, because he knew, like, right as, as if, right after he saw that his wife and son were dead, it was like Woody Harrelson, like, I don't know, was he like... They, like, lock eyes, and he's all like, oh, and, like, shoots at him. I don't even know what he was on, right? Oh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know, a rope, I, I guess. Was, like, a, I thought he was gonna be, like, pulled up by a helicopter It was, or like, something. yeah, instead he was just, like, ghetto climbing a rope, I guess. Yeah, right, so, like, Caesar jumps out there, and he, like, ends up yeah, cutting the wire. Yeah, it's, like, an epic, like, battle. And you can tell them I fought to protect this world. And I'm the world for God and Lord. We created you. Yeah, so then he's like going out for revenge to kill him. Yeah, uh, with a few allies along the way. Meanwhile, the rest of the apes are fleeing to this safe haven that they've, I guess, Disgust, heard yeah. about. So along the way, they meet uh, a little girl, but like she cannot speak or anything. Uh, instead of leaving her for dead, uh, they decide to basically bring her with them. So There's more to it, but I don't want to give away the whole story really oh, okay. on why she comes. But anyways, they also find like a little bit more evidence that the humans are basically battling the apes and each other. Once again, I don't really want to like give away too much on how they figure it out, like what the evidence is or anything. Yeah, I guess that's true. But now... We will bring an end to their kind. They find the Alpha Omega guy, his camp, um, the apes are being worked like slaves. Yeah. I guess his, the apes that were going off to find the sanctuary kind of get like kidnapped, kidnapped and, and now they're there. Kidnapped. 
I there's yeah. no food, there's no water. Working them to like draw. It's pretty much like a slave labor camp. So yeah. it's up to Caesar to kind of be the one that's like, no, this is wrong. I don't know. Yeah. He's he's trying to he's trying to make it so then the apes aren't just being used and they're dying. Yeah, it's basically up to Caesar to like save the day, stop the evil Alpha Omega. All while bringing war to the planet is the apes. And they say it, he's like, if we lose this battle, it'll be a planet and of the apes. apes. I was like, oh and my god. just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this all being said, I don't know, like, what like, do you... What do we think of what it, What do you basically? think No mercy, no peace. This is war. So what's your pros? <sighs> okay, my pros are... Physically, apes. physically it looks nice. Oh yeah, like the yeah. apes look good. The, the the places they choose look good. I know we didn't mention one small character, and that was the the bad bad ape. Oh yeah, yeah. Great grape ape. Grape ape. We'll just call him grape ape. Um, <laughs> I don't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> like physically, everything looked good, but as I was, oh, there were some good Easter eggs. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. There was like stuff that if you've seen, seen the original, the originals, you'll be like, oh, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> but my cons list is a little bit longer. Ooh. So my cons for this are the plot isn't very. Mm, I don't know. It's I not. It's not a very solid plot for me. Yeah, yeah. You know, compared to the other ones, I can believe the other ones more, being like. You know, thousands of years had passed, and the apes had risen up. Yeah, like the classic ones where it's like, like I can believe the classic. Leaves it open to your imagination on how the planet became taken over by apes. I know where you're coming. And from I watch that. this one, and I'm like, they have sticks and stones and a few guns, but apparently they're much more superior. <laughs> There's nothing better than the ape being like did, 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 with a machine gun, though. Oh my god. It is true. It's true. But they like <laughs> physically seeing them fighting, and then what was you awesome. But the plot, I, Woody Harrelson is like, you're smarter and you know more physically capable than cap more like physically capable than us. So if we don't kill you, you'll kill us. Yeah. And I understand that, but then at the same time, I'm like, it's not like they gotta have the apes take over somehow. You know, it's Planet of the Apes. You know, like when you see another thing, and sometimes you don't know if. Whose side they're on? Well, obviously that's a fucking ape. Yeah. Well, Other than the ones that work with the humans. <laughs> yeah. And no, no. I'm Your there. cons list is just my cons forever. list is taking forever. <laughs> I like the movie, but it's not gonna score as high as say Mash is going going to. Mine is honestly about a six out of ten, and it's only it's just average. Yeah, it's just average only because I'm not enjoying them as much as I you know. Enjoyed the classics. The classics are like hanging over it. I'm like, Ugh, yeah, you know, I, I can. It, it's just the reboot. You, you get yeah. that with reboots. You are impressive. You're smart as hell. You're stronger than we are. But you're taking this all much too personally. Anyway, what is your pos your pros <laughs> list of War for Planet of the Apes? I my pros, it's all around excellent. This was a great movie, excellent you music. You liked it a lot. The music was great in it, the CGI, I loved the mm -hmm. story. I thought the story was great. It give you know, like his family dying, it gives him a purpose for even doing it. Uh, fucking the acting was great. Like, I don't know, I thought Woody Harrelson did a good job. I liked him. I, I, you can only really say Woody Harrelson and maybe whatever the other little troops that you don't really know their names. I liked him right up to the The apes were great, end. though. Yeah, the ending becomes a little, like, he just kind of, it, it's like sort of like the, uh, uh, fuck, what am I trying to think here? I don't know. I did not start this war. <laughs> the ending leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I kind of spaced for a second there, sorry. Uh, I got too... Involved with how great the movie was, uh, yeah. So I thought it was a perfect movie. This movie is perfect. I love the reboot. You don't really like the reboot, um, so there is some cons. Uh, I thought there was one ape in particular. I kind of didn't like him. He felt like the Jar Jar Binks <laughs> of the movie. Luckily, he doesn't have much of a role in it. But He's like, 
Me's are gonna help you. Me's gonna help you. <laughs> Basically. The, okay, there was one scene. I got, it, it was like a comedy, and it was like, it's so small. They're so far away. <laughs> yeah, I thought it just, it just totally like stood up. I know, I know, I know. It exactly. was, it was funny and all that, but it's like, oh, Jar Jar right there. Yeah. Um, I give it 10 out of 10, man. This was a perfect fucking movie. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Yeah, I know, like, MASH has enjoyed it way more than I have. Oh, and I'm I watching every inch of it. I'm watching and I'm, I, I just keep finding little flaws personally. Oh, no, it was great. This was a solid movie. You need to go see this. And if it, not, fuck off. Yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, you need to see it. If not, fuck off. Don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to like. Don't subscribe. forget to subscribe. <laughs> Feed me YouTube. Bangers and Mash. <laughs> Bangers and Mash Live. We do Preach and Preacher. Facebook, Twitter. Watch this fucking movie. Fuck off. I will finish it.